He is known for his contribution to the development of semiconductor heterostructures used in high-speed and optoelectronics. He is recognized for receiving the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000 alongside Jarez Alfarov. His name is Herbert Cromer. In the realm of scientific brilliance, one name stands out, Herbert Cromer, a German-American physicist whose contributions have shaped the world of high-speed and optoelectronics. Born on August 25, 1928, Cromer's journey into the world of physics began with his pursuit of a PhD in theoretical physics from the University of Göttingen in Germany. His dissertation on hot electron effects in transistors laid the groundwork for his groundbreaking research. Cromer's work in developing semiconductor heterostructures revolutionized the field of electronics. Alongside Jarez Alfarov, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000 for this groundbreaking achievement. These heterostructures became the foundation for high-speed and optoelectronics, paving the way for advancements in telecommunications and, ultimately, the development of mobile phone technologies. With his expertise and immense knowledge, Cromer became a professor emeritus of electrical and computer engineering at the University of California, Santa Barbara. His research not only shaped the field of electronics but also inspired countless scientists and engineers to push the boundaries of what was possible in the realm of technology. In the world of semiconductor research, Herbert Cromer made a name for himself as an innovator and visionary. Born in Germany, he worked in various research laboratories before making his way to the United States. He joined the faculty at the University of Colorado in 1968, where he taught electrical engineering. However, it was when he joined the UCSB faculty in 1976 that his career took a pivotal turn. At UCSB, Cromer focused his research program on emerging compound semiconductor technology, deviating from the mainstream emphasis on silicon technology. He believed that the future of semiconductors lay in these new materials and set out to explore their potential. Alongside Charles Kittle, he co-authored the influential textbook, Thermal Physics, which was first published in 1980 and continues to be used today. He also authored the textbook, Quantum Mechanics for Engineering, Material Science, and Applied Physics. Cromer's groundbreaking work did not go unnoticed. In 1997, he was elected as a member of the National Academy of Engineering for his conception of the semiconductor heterostructure transistor and laser, as well as his leadership in semiconductor materials technology. In 2003, he was further recognized as a member of the National Academy of Sciences. Throughout his career, Cromer always sought to push the boundaries of technology. He was known for working on problems that were ahead of their time, constantly looking for new frontiers. In the 1950s, he invented the drift transistor, a significant advancement in semiconductor devices. He was also the first to recognize the advantages of incorporating heterojunctions in various semiconductor devices. However, his most notable contribution came in 1963 when he proposed the concept of the double heterostructure laser, a fundamental concept in the field of semiconductor lasers. Cromer's pioneering spirit extended to his exploration of molecular beam epitaxy, a technique used to grow thin films of materials. He applied this technology to untried new materials, further expanding the possibilities of semiconductor research. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.